City Council Finance Committee meeting. Committee members present this evening, Councilors Walsh, Sorella, President Kushmerick, Council Boschman, myself, Councilor Dina Talley. Uh, we will, and we also have here Auditor uh, Calvin Brooks. We will begin with agenda item zero, actually Councilors, we'll take 02319 through 02519 all at once. Uh, Assistant Superintendent of Fitchburg Public Schools, Bob Chokola is present this evening to uh, speak on these matters. I'll just read very quickly that 2319, 2419, and 2519 authorizes the superintendent to submit to the Mass School Building Authority the statement of interest form dated 21219 for South Street Elementary School for the South Street West Building Roof and the South Street Building Boilers Priority to the Massachusetts School Building Authority. Uh, also, 2419 is same for Goodrich Academy roof and 2519 is same for the Fitchburg High School roof. Superintendent. Thank you. Um, it's that annual time of the year where we get to apply to MSBA under their accelerated repair program, principally for roofs, windows, and boilers. Uh, the projects are pretty straightforward. They're really end of useful life. Uh, on these subsystems. Um, just quickly going by building in the project, the Goodrich Academy roof is 33 years old. The South Street South building boiler is 58 years old. The South Street West roof is 79 years old. And lastly, the Fitchburg High School roof is nearing, well, will be 20 years old um, at the time of application. And um, Roofs have to have a minimum uh, age of 20 years to apply under the accelerated repair program. So, do you have any idea what the cost of all of this will, will, will be, or ballpark estimate that we'll be applying to MSBA for? We <coughs> we don't insert a dollar amount in the application. Uh, I can tell you that we do. We had. Um, a roof study performed on the West Building roof a couple of years ago, same time as Longstro roof. Um, one person looked at that roof at the same time. Um, so I don't have the exact cost numbers, just from a sense of scale. The boiler project is probably under a million. Uh, the West roof is probably, I'd say, in the million and a half range. Um, the Goodrich Academy roof, I don't know, again, straight shingles. And the high school roof, I don't have a dollar. So the high estimate. school, is it's the entire roof? At the high it's it's the shingle area that goes around is needs replacement and then the, the main roof is starting to develop leaks as well so the my only other comment right now on this uh, I'm going to support all these we, we we need them and this is a first step to applying to MSBA correct? this is the first step right so there's no guarantee, no guarantee no guarantee no commitment um our reimbursement rate on these projects is 80 percent um, um so the question I've gotten from some constituents about Fitchburg High School, mm -hmm. considering that it's only 20 years old, mm -hmm. how is the roof already, they look at South Street, they look at Goodrich, we're talking 30, 40, 50 year old roofs, which make perfect sense. In the case of South Street West, 79 years old, but mm -hmm. Fitchburg High School is only barely 20 years old and it already needs a roof replacement. Is there, has there any been any discussion amongst the school committee or, or the administration about why the roof already needs to be replaced after not even 20 years? Uh, um, I don't know if the con conversation is uh, why. I mean, if, you know, if I don't know if, I can't say if it's the materials or uh, quality of construction, it's hard to say. Um, you know, I guess I'll just make a, a general statement. Um, you know, low bid projects sometimes are not put together well, as uh, we've learned from some other sources. Um, you know, their defects in either in workmanship and or, again, the, the quality of these materials, they're, they're warranted to last 20 years, this the high school roof. Not very good. 30 plus, right, 30 to 50, right. Warranty on right. whoever did do this work that, <laughs> right. you know. Right, and I know when we replaced the roofs on um, this school and Rheingold, um, they came with warranties, and when we put the solar panels on, that was part of that application, that the, the lifespan of the solar installation would be able to be supported by the, the lifespan and warranty of the roof, so. So I, none of us were on the council 20 years ago, right. but 
um, the mayor at that time, who I won't won't name, but you know, I, I feel like the city dropped the ball on this one in terms of ensuring that we had an adequate warranty and we had adequate work being done over there. Um, taxpayers now are going to be penalized for that short-sightedness, if you ask me. And I just hope this go around. If we are successful in getting this funding from MSBA, that they will that the city and the school department will ensure that whoever is selected, that the materials being used by us, you know, 30 years at least, if not 40 or more, um, on a warranty. <laughs> uh, not too much to ask, but apparently we have to make sure we make that clear because it wasn't made clear 20 years ago. Uh, Councilor Boschman. I just want to say, in defense for him, when he talked about the cell Street West, that's a slick roof that's entirely different than Stone Lake, and it's wearing out after 79 years. And usually, asphalt shingles come in at 25, 30, 35, 30, 40, and 50 years. So, if you bid in a job and a contract is there, he usually puts the cheapest brand he can put up there because he wants to make money. Am I right or wrong? So he, and if we don't specify we want a 50 year shingle, because we only put, what, a 30 year shingle on the laundry. Instead, he's spending a couple more hundred the, thousand for a 50. And on the high school roof, where, where it is shingled on the, I don't know, the, the eve, or I'm not a contractor, <laughs> but where there is shingled roofing, uh, the building code at that time did not require, um, you know, any felt paper being put down. So it went right to the uh, underlayment particle board or uh, fiber board, whatever it was. So, um, yeah. That's it. I, I just wanted you to know that yeah. the reason why. So. In 79 years, I don't even have to know what, what happened. It's older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. It's pre World War II itself, almost World War II period. Motion to approve 23 Second. through 25, 19. Motion made and seconded to approve 23, 24, and 25, 19. Uh, speaking on the motion, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It is unanimous. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Last item on the agenda, 28-19, a petition to establish an ordinance in the appropriate section of the city code for wages of Fit city of Fitchburg poll workers, according to the attached table, to be in compliance with minimum wage laws. City Clerk Farrell. Good evening. Uh, counselors, this is um, a step to actually codify the poll worker wages. They've not been in the code before in the ordinance. And actually, um, it was brought to my attention by our HR director, Susan Davis, that they really should be. So of course, we've been paying poll workers all along. Uh, but they've been um, approved by you uh, in the budget as part of the budget process. This is simply to codify uh, what we're doing. And also, it does um, increase their wages uh, over the next few years to uh, be in compliance with the increases in the minimum wage law. So the inspectors start off at um, minimum wage, and then as responsibilities increase, um, the wages increase accordingly. And so this chart reflects that. Council Zarella. Thank you. Uh, this, as with many of these kinds of petitions, I'm going to say again, this is a no-brainer. When we've got a petition that says we are out of compliance, well, we're not in terms of practice, but in terms of our ordinance, we are out of compliance. This brings us in compliance. There's really no debate to be had on that, in my opinion. Motion to approve 028. I get one second. question. Motion made in second to approve 28-19. Speaking on the motion, Council Bush. On the motion, may I ask for a question? Yes. One question. I noticed that when I was reading the thing that you sent to us, some of the wages were 11, then you're going up to 12. It, can you get um, on that $12 bit, do you get enough help at 12, or should it be higher? Um, <clears throat> right now, we're in really good shape, actually, with poll workers um, for, at the inspector level. Um, and I hate to put them at levels because every job is important at, at the polls, every job. Um, but some do carry more responsibility, so, and we have to start somewhere. And so we start with the inspectors. Um, but yes, I am able to um, obtain enough workers at that rate. 
because I was just thinking about 15 bucks an hour for the start, and then the warren gets 20, and the one in between gets 18. I wish we can do that. <laughs> well, I just think it would be a lot easier, and then you'll, you'll be knocking on your door saying, can I do it? I would love that if they were knocking on my door. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. That's all. Uh, motion's been made and seconded to approve 2819. Anything else? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It is unanimous. Second. Motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you. Very good, Anthony. Kept the shot and sweet down <clears> the <throat> next way.